Welcome all. So today we will continue our ongoing tutorial series on configuring identity in ASP.NET Core 2.2 and we will be doing the part 2 and in this part we will be doing the sign in and the tokens settings. So before we go forward we will get back to the relevant slideshows. So with the sign in there is the code snippet which is which was um, not written earlier in the web app one solution but I am going to write it with the explaining on the slideshow as well. So sign in the following code sets sign in set, uh, settings to the default values. So services.configure identity options again ID, options parameter is there is a lambda expression and these are the default sign in settings. So options.sign in dot require confirmed email equals false. These are the default settings are false. And then options dot sign in dot require confirmed phone number equals false. So this code sets the options that you can use to configure the identity system sign in property, which specifies the sign in options with the property shown in the table A in the next slide. Okay. So let's do it on code. So I have got this solution open web app one, which has started from the beginning of the series on identity introduction. So if you have not gone through those three lectures earlier and the last lecture on setting the lock word, sorry, lockout and password, please visit those lectures because this, this one and the next tutorial is also based on this um, solution. All right. So once I have declared this options parameter here and with this lambda expression, you can see that it's a breeze. So you can use this options as I think you have known by this time. So only thing is that option dot sign in. What do you see on the sign on the intelligence? It gets or sets the sign in options for the identity system and it returns what a sign in options class. So options dot sign in dot require confirmed email and uh, on the intelligence it shows you what it does it returns uh, it gets or sets a flag indicating whether a confirmed email address is required to sign in and defaults to false right so i am defaulting it to false and similarly options dot sign in dot require confirmed phone number equals false okay there's another concept of token and what are tokens and what is their need so tokens are something that an application you can see or service can issue to a user which they can later hand back as a way to prove their identity and often their authorization for an action we can use tokens in various places where we need to provide a mechanism to confirm something about them such as a phone number or email address. So you can see that token are some something you can visualize token as something physical handed over by say a customer service representative to a customer and you know based on a particular um, information confidential information about that person and uh, in order to prove that the that person is what he says he is he can hand over that token back to the representative so token system is sim something similar you know so as we have seen we can use tokens in various places where we need to provide a mechanism to confirm something about them like the phone number or email address. It is also Im very important that they are secure and trustworthy since they could present a security breach or security hole into your application if used incorrectly. Mechanisms need to be in place to expire old and used tokens to prevent someone else using them should they gain access to them. Okay, so .NET 
NSP.NET Identity Core also provides some basic tokens via token providers for common tasks. So the following table shows the properties of the token options class, which is specified by identity options dot tokens property. So this tokens property of the identity options class returns tokens option. So what are the property? One property is authenticated token provider. It gets or sets authentication token provider used to validate two-factor sign-ins with an authenticator. So we will discuss two-factor sign-in in some other video. So probably you might have already come across some, some of the websites require two-factor authentication. Maybe one is sign-in through Google and another is sign-in through Facebook, you know. So they allow, if you have forgotten to um, your sign up with a particular authenticator, you can as well try signing in with another authenticator. Okay. Similarly, a change email token provider, which gets or sets the change email token provider used to generate tokens used in email change confirmation emails. Now, change phone number token provider. So, you know, all these sorts of things are as a part of the authorization process, authentication and authorization process. So, if you request a change email or a change phone number so a change phone number or a change email token provider comes into being it gets or sets the change phone number token provider used to generate tokens used when changing phone numbers and the last one is email confirmation token provider so it gets or sets the token provider used to generate token using account confirmation emails so i strongly recommend all of you to go through this uh, Microsoft documentation link which is attached in the description. So for enhancing your knowledge and to you know go through everything uh, in front of you as a documentation. Now before leaving I must set uh, what the um, you know before concluding this lecture I must recap what I have imparted as a matter of this lecture. So we have discussed the tokens and the sign-in options properties within the ASP.NET Core 2.2 identity configuration. Thank you.